Happy 18th birthday, Chloe. That was me. Stop it, Ryan. How did you know how to get this? I've been dreaming of this since forever. I had a little bit of help. <laughs> you guys are actually the best. Okay, all right, lovebirds. Get a room already. Mikey, don't be mad just because you can't get any girl to like you. Oh. <laughs> no, Emily's right. You're just mad because you can't get a relationship to save your life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, <that>. Maggie. <laughs> I was savage. <laughs> I hope I don't end up like you, Mikey. I want to get married and fall in love like Chloe's parents. How's your party going? Uncle tried to get drunk yet? <laughs> Not yet, luckily. This whole party is perfect. Everyone I love is here. But? But I just feel weird like something's off. Almost as if home isn't home anymore. Does that make any sense? No, I know that feeling, trust me. But hey, that feeling never lasts forever. One day, you'll feel like you fully belong and you're right where you're supposed to be. So cheer up, <laughs> enjoy your party, and just think of how happy you'll be when you're off on your trip in a few weeks. So, did you buy your flights yet? I'm planning on buying them this weekend, but I still have to. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Stop, you're dead, you died. Yes. Jesus! Loser. No, get stop. Get out of here. Your mom doesn't love you. God. So, what are you two talking about? Chloe hasn't bought her flights yet. What? But isn't your trip in a few weeks? I mean, yeah, but once I buy these flights, it's a for sure decision that I'm not gonna be able to go to college. Get away from me. Suck. Oh Whoa. my god, all you guys suck. It's not even funny anymore, because I'm always kicking ass. <laughs> what are you guys even talking about? Chloe's flight, and if she's even going to with it or not. Oh well, since we're already on the hot topic of conversation, Chloe, we think what you want to do is super cool and all, but... We love you more than anyone else. It's just, we're going to be heartbroken if you actually leave. And, um, if I'm being honest, trying to catch you up to speed when you come back just isn't possible. I think what we're all trying to say is that we just don't want to lose you as a friend. I mean, I don't want to lose you as friends. Right. Then it's settled. You won't go. I mean, I guess, but... All right, who's any friend in the round? <laughs> You're just going to lose again. Yeah, okay. I'm going to be like, fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Hospital of the Philippines. A sweet baby died with Bala in the town. Hey Ray, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? Earlier today I was hanging out with the group and they basically were making me choose them or going to Australia. I mean, don't you think that's kind of messed up? I mean, they really love you, Chloe. Of course they don't want to see you leave. So are you telling me I should choose between them or Australia? Six months is a long time. And to be honest, I've been thinking a lot about it too. Long distance relationships they don't have the best odds of making it. What are you trying to say? Chloe, I love you. And I love being with you. But how are we gonna make this work if we're on two completely different time zones? Are you breaking up with me? That's not it. It's just... If you buy your flights, then I don't know how much longer I could do this for. A companion friend excavates and delves the hospital. Baby, that's 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is it. We've been talking about it for how many years? Seems like forever. Mom, Dad, can I get your advice on something? Sure, sweetie, what is it? Well, it's about my trip, and I was wondering if I could get your advice on what Well, I... since you're bringing up Australia, uh, and the both of you are here, Caden, why don't you pull up a seat? Chloe, Caden, your father and I, we want you both to know we love you very much. But we've started to realize that sometimes people grow apart. Wait. Are you suggesting that what your mother's trying to say here is that, well, we've decided to get a divorce? We wanted to wait to tell you, but since Chloe's trip is coming up so soon, we didn't want it to be a shock when you returned home. Are you guys fucking serious right now? Caden, watch your mouth. No, no, no. Sit down. No, you expect us to yes. sit down and listen to this calmly? Oh, yes, are you sit down. Are you fucking kidding me? Get back here. Fuck. How are you feeling? Honestly, Caden, everything feels like it's going to shit. First, my friends make me choose between them and going on a lifelong dream trip, and then Ryan he said he's gonna break up with me and let go, and I just don't feel like that he appreciates me. And then mom and dad and I just don't know if I could do anything to hold everything together anymore. <laughs> if Ryan and your friends really cared about you, then they wouldn't put you in this position. Going down. 